And here we go with the start of the complete craziness here because Dortmund are minus 120. Um, if the algorithm's going to give you minus 114 for going with Dortmund minus half a goal. It's going to give you plus 145 if a Dortmund score three. But this is the bit, this is the one I just can't understand. Augsburg to score twice a plus 100. But Augsburg not to score twice is minus 130. I'm all over Augsburg not scoring twice here. But then what Dortmund are going to turn up? Because we've got an under or over three and a half with the favourite again, being that we're going to see four goals, Alex. This is way so unimportant for Dortmund to to to, to play their line at minus 120. There, this is so such an unimportant match for Dortmund right now. If they can uh, sign right now that to lose 2-0 against Augsburg, they will they will do it without playing, in my opinion. Uh, they will rotate heavily. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, yeah, uh, John is saying uh, Augsburg draw double chance. I checked yesterday and uh, it went from plus 135. Today is minus 105. Right, minus 106, everything is going down for Augsburg. So it's unplayable. But the only thing that stayed untouched is the over three, the under 3.5 goals at minus 105. I do think that we see more than three goals here. I think that Dortmund will, will pass a lot. You know, they will not overexpose at all. They will play safe. They will not uh, go all in like uh, they usually do uh, at the black and yellow. Uh, behind them, with the black and yellow behind them. A draw double chance on Augsburg, yeah, it has a value, but it had yesterday at plus 125, not today at minus 106. I mean, you cannot play the money line here. I'm just playing the under 3.5. I think Dortmund win the game, though, because, again, they've got a big squad. Haller's going to come in. Haller's going to want to... Ah, by the uh... way, by the way, we have to say goodbye to Marco Royce. Um, officially Why? announced... Uh, Was he on this show? Uh, Was he? <laughs> we have to say goodbye to Marco Reus officially announced that at the end of the season he will end his contract with uh, Dortmund and probably well done, his uh, his career okay well done Marco Reus but we'll say uh, well done at the end of the season because I think that the Dortmund listen when you're when you're going as well as Dortmund are going any player that comes into that side are going to be full of confidence. It's always better to come into a team that's winning. Um, and the players are coming in, they've probably been champion at the bit, and they're playing against Augsburg, right? Who And Augsburg are like, OK, we, if they uh, avert, get away from relegation, that's their job done. That's their Champions League. I can only see Dortmund winning, and the numbers, I'm not getting sucked in, but I think that... Haller coming in, some of the other boys that are going to... I mean, by the way, what about Jaden Sancho finally turning up uh, in one game and all of a oh, sudden... Oh, come it's on! Like... Don't, uh, don't bring him to... Let's, let's make him a statue. No, no, no. Thank you very much. Yeah, exactly. 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 Been stealing a living for two and a half years. Um, right, OK. Wondering, wondering what will happen with him, uh, Flash, at the end of this season? He will return um, back? No. Uh, you know what I would do? I, if it was me, I would leave him. If I'm Man United, I would leave him On and the I streets. would take Ad, and, and leave him in Dortmund. Straight swap, Adi Amy. No, yeah, I, I would take Adi. No, I would take Adi Amy to uh, Manchester United because I think he's so direct, <laughs> he's so raw, uh, and you've already wasted your money on Sancho anyway. So, uh, but Stinch, Dortmund, Augsburg, these numbers really are going to suck you in, aren't they? Yeah, I, this is a, a horrible bet in heat, in, in my opinion, now. Uh, I think there's a comment in the chat from Gineppi that said the value's gone on, on Augsburg. And, yeah, Alex described it perfectly. The, all the money has come in for Augsburg. Yeah. I don't really want to take them at, at this price. Um, I think the interesting thing with Dortmund is I think seven of the team that started against PSG started against Leipzig, and they lost 4-1. So I think you can't even you could even even if you waited for the lineup, I still don't think uh, you'd be able to decipher the motivation. Basically, it's only three days, very quick turnaround. Saturday to Tuesday away in PSG, all the focus will be in that game. So it could be a little bit of an anticlimax. So yeah, I think if I was forced into a bet, I would I would back under three point five. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll just go uh, the Dortmund route. Let's have a little look at the official pitch. You've got to be really careful. Maybe line up checks, but it's under three and a half for the Dortmund Leverkusen fan. So uh, minus 105 for Alex. <laughs> 